Step number one to editing your YouTube shorts using your smartphone is downloading the app Adobe Rush. It's a free app for Android and iPhone. You gotta just press record. Hey, what's up? It's Omar Tukori with Think Media, helping you build your influence with online video. And this is part two of a series where I'm showing you how to shoot and edit a YouTube short. YouTube shorts are a wide open opportunity for every creator, and it's creating vertical video that is under 60 seconds. If you haven't seen the first video, make sure you check that out. It'll show you some ideas and even go over some gear that might help when creating a YouTube short. But for the most part, I got the clips on my phone and it's ready to be edited. So let's open up Adobe Rush and let's start and input our footage. Once you open up Adobe Rush, you're just going to create a new project and then we're gonna import from videos, uh, unless you're using photos, and I'm gonna import the clips that I will be using for my YouTube short. Now it's important to know that if your clips are kind of all over the place chronologically, just make sure you click the clips in the order you want to edit them in. And so the first clip that I definitely want is this one on the top right, and then this one on the bottom, and then the next one is this one, the next one is this one, and then the fifth clip is this one. And then I'm just gonna call this short, um, and then hit create, and then it's going to import the clips to my timeline. Now, depending on the type of short you did, you might wanna keep the audio that is on the actual video file. For me, I wanna remove it completely because I'm gonna put music instead. You can also record a voiceover and kind of dub an audio track over the entire short as well. So I like to expand my timeline so I can kind of see everything. So by clicking this icon on the bottom left, uh, it'll show that and then I can easily mute the audio with a click of a button. Now I'm gonna take the time to trim down all the fluff and also organize the clips in the place I want them. And so if you need to trim down anything, you can simply put the curse, the blue cursor where you want it, tap on the clip, hit split, and that's just a good way that you can trim the video. And then if you wanna move around a clip or put something in between a clip, you can simply hold down and then move that clip where you'd like to, and then it'll lock into place. And just a good button to know about as you go about this, if you make any mistakes, simply hit this back arrow on the top of your screen and then you'll uh, undo what you just did as far as you need it to do. Two weeks later. All right, so to edit down that video down to its core, took me about three to four minutes or so, which isn't terrible, but as you'll use it, you will become more proficient at it, amen. But the next step is to now add your assets, things like text, uh, things like music, or like I mentioned before, voiceovers. And the way you can add assets is this blue button on the bottom left of your screen. And as you can see, you can see everything that you're able to do. So I'm just gonna add the song that I want. I'm gonna add it from my media. Uh, because I saved it onto my phone. So I'm just gonna go to my files, hit import files, and then this clip on the top left is what I wanna bring in. Uh, and then once it's in there, now I'm ready to kind of just see where I want it to play. Yay. Hey. Anyway, I want that drop to hit at a certain point, And so I'm just going to find that drop with the audio wave file, which I believe is right here. I'm gonna split it and then hit delete. And I'm gonna drag that to where I want the big aha to take place. So let's see how this looks. So now it's time to add text. So the way to add text to your video is to hit the graphics tab at the bottom, hit add graphic. And I found that once you click on titles, if you just search the word basic, uh, then you're just gonna get very basic titles. And I'm just gonna select this second one, basic default title, hit add, and then uh, just add this title to the front end of the video. And then any and all editing you need to do to the text itself, you can do at the bottom. And so if you need to change the font, you totally can. I'm just gonna go to Helvetica new. Uh, let's see, we, they got bold italic. Um, and then I'm gonna, I want this to actually re read, wear glasses, question mark. And then, and then if you need to move the position of that, you can simply tap the screen, make sure you're selected on the timeline, and then you can move it where you want it to be. Uh, something like that looks good. And then you would just repeat this process and I'm gonna do this for every tip in the video. All right, so once you add the text and your video and you're ready to go, it's time to export. And so we're just gonna hit this send button on the top of the phone. 
and then hit export at 1080p. Um, and then the app will then export the video and then you can upload it to YouTube. Now, when it comes to adding the short on YouTube, simply hit the plus button in the app and then uh, hit upload. Obviously, make sure you got Wi-Fi connected and then upload your short uh, to your channel. Not getting into too much detail about uploading your short on YouTube. One thing to mention is uh, maybe you wanna put the hashtag short in either your title or description. Now you don't have to, but it might help your video get on that short shelf like mentioned in the previous video. But if you wanna see a detailed video on how to upload using a smartphone or tablet, make sure you click or tap the screen or check out the actual short that I created by seeing the final product by clicking or tapping the screen as well. And I can't wait to see you in a future video. Peace.